Hey guys, Down Phoenix. We're doing a little bit of a quick shoot today. I wanted to talk about the next generation Xbox because apparently there are some YouTubers out there that have inside sources with people that work at Microsoft that said that this system is coming out in 2019. You know, YouTubers like. Oh, geez, my allergies are uh, really bad lately. But, anyways, these kinds of YouTubers, you know, they make these bold claims about things because, for one, they want the clicks, they want the attention, they want the monetization. And how better to get that than to make bold claims? Because if someone is to say, oh, there's a new Xbox in development, well, that's not a big surprise because. Uh, the fact of the matter is, these companies, they do make these kinds of systems all the time. They are actively working on the next systems. They will begin working on the next systems after that, probably very shortly after they release the new system. That's just part of how it works. Part of how it's always worked in the gaming industry. But, that doesn't really make much sense, you know, to make that kind of video, because most people, they realize that. It's, that's an evident fact, and who cares, you know, right? But... Whenever you have inside sources that are able to divulge information that the public doesn't know about, including details and release dates and things like that, well, that gets people talking. That gets people's attention. And that's why such claims are made, because they wouldn't really be effective otherwise, right? So, anyways, where is that new Xbox? You know, I'm wondering... I mean, yes, technically we did have a new Xbox release this year in 2019, the Xbox One S All Digital Edition. But, I mean, is that really worth a big stink over? <laughs> An Xbox without a disk drive? Does anybody actually care? Well, I mean, I guess it's possible. I guess it's what it could be all about, but this uh, particular YouTuber did make claims that this was the next generation Xbox. That this was the new Xbox. That they wanted to beat the PlayStation 5 to market. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of suspect, but it is what it is. And when you make these claims nearly 700 days ago, you know, by the time that people realize, oh, he was actually wrong, well, you know, that story's dead. It's buried. Nobody cares anymore. Because, you know, basically it's a no harm, no foul. So you get all the clickbait. You get all the attention, you get all the YouTubers that make their own response videos talking about this and basically validating this opinion. But when it turns out not to be true, well, nobody really talks about it. Kind of weird, isn't it? You know, this kind of thing happens a lot in media in general. Might be one reason why people don't really like the news media. Because when they make mistakes... Oftentimes they don't own up to it, and when they do own up to it, it gets buried under several pages of other stuff, and a lot of people just don't ever know. So, and then of course that means that base assumptions that have happened before, they stay alive. So, but you know what? I'm looking forward to the next Xbox. Hopefully they come out with it in 2019. Maybe Microsoft should uh, announce something on that, huh? Down Phoenix out.